welcome to another non-finite verb forms video we shall continue with the non-finite verb forms and how to construct sentence with the sentences with them and how to not construct sentences with them all right so the words and phrases that we shall use for this video are let somebody apologize for can't help to adjective and afford let's get on with number one let somebody and the choices are to infinitive, the infinitive, the ing form and the past participle. So let somebody bear infinitive. Let somebody has to be followed by a bear infinitive. Let's see why. Let somebody go out. Right. Do not let anyone waste their time. So instead of somebody, I put anyone. You must let somebody else do it. She cannot manage or she cannot manage on her own. So let somebody go waste do all bare infinitives let's see a few incorrect sentences let somebody to go out it is not that let somebody to go out no it cannot go that way you cannot construct a sentence like that not only it it is wrong and that carries no meaning it does not even sound nice so do not let anyone to waste their time again an incorrect way of using and you must let somebody else doing it one more incorrect sentence always let somebody let someone let them let me bear infinitive let somebody go let somebody do let somebody eat let me do let me eat let her do let her eat so pay attention and do not construct incorrect sentences all right number two apologize for ing form i apologize for going to the mall without you he apologizes for not doing his homework they apologize for wasting their chance so they had a chance but they did not take it they wasted it so they apologize for that they apologize for what for wasting their chance i apologize what do you apologize for or what are you apologizing for i apologize for going to the mall without you for not taking you to the mall he apologizes for not doing his homework so apologize always followed by the ing form right so that was that and now let's see why it is not i apologize for gone to the mall without you he apologizes for not done they apologize for waste their chance all these sentences are incorrect i apologize for gone you cannot do that you cannot go i apologize for gone to the mall without you that does not make any sense at all he apologizes for not done he apologizes he apologizes for what for not done no his homework that does not make any sense they apologize for waste their chance again an incorrect example always remember the the tense line and the way i have taught you the tenses sentence construction i have told you several times always follow that pattern that is the most natural pattern if it's not within that pattern it's you it's most likely wrong all right so that was that so let's look at number three can't help what's the meaning of can't help not that i cannot help you now i am busy no th that's not the meaning of can't help can't help is something that is out of your control you just cannot help yourself you cannot control yourself so let's look at a few examples of can't help ing form so number one i can't help falling in love with her i can't help what i can't help falling in love with her she can't help falling in love with me so these were two these are two examples of can't help doing can't help falling can't help going can't help eating he can't help smiling whenever he returns from his hometown so whenever he returns from his hometown there is a mysterious smile upon his face he just cannot help it he cannot help not smiling or he cannot help smiling so the correct sentence would be he cannot help not smiling 
he can't help smiling is also correct it's not wrong all right so that was can't help followed by the ing form let's look at some incorrect sentences i cannot help or i can't help to fall in love you cannot to fall anything you cannot to fall anyway right she cannot help or she can't help fallen in love that's a it's a meaningless sentence so she can't help fallen in love with me you cannot go that way it's it's, it's impossible it's just not physically possible he can't help smile so he can't help smiling or he can't help not smiling right so not he can't help smile when he returns from his hometown so that was can't help followed by the ing form now let's look at two adjective and two infinitive so two adjective two infinitive milk is too sour okay the milk is too sour for what the milk is too sour to drink it is not fit for consumption the cake is too stale to eat it is too stale it is too old it's gone i cannot eat it or nobody can, no one can eat it any longer it is too windy to walk it is too hot to go out for a stroll so let's see so two adjective to infinitive to adjective to infinitive to adjective to infinitive and to adjective to infinitive always follow this same pattern it is too sour to drink right let's see a few incorrect examples the milk is too sour drinking no the milk is too sour drinking you cannot do that the cake is too stale eaten the cake is too stale eaten no you cannot do that it is too windy walk you know that does not make sense i do not even have to draw it it is too hot gone out for, for a stroll the sentence has a completely different meaning right you're changing the meanings of the words that you're using in these sentences so do not use these sentences always to adjective and to infinitive right so that was the fourth one and the fifth one afford to infinitive why is that let's see i can afford to go there i can afford to buy i can afford to sell right so you cannot afford to waste any time life is ticking by or life is ticking away they could not afford to stay they went back because they could not afford to stay or they could not afford to remain so the, those are the two uh, in two afford and two infinitives so let's see some incorrectly constructed sentences i can afford going there a lot of people will use this a lot of times i can afford going there and in unofficial or in uh, informal conversations it is okay do not use it in tests do not use it in official letters official correspondence because it just does not make a lot of sense you can you cannot afford wasting any time you cannot afford to waste any time would be the correct form you cannot afford wasting any time like i just said is often used albeit incorrectly they could not afford stay so this doesn't make any sense at all so let's just see what we have done so let somebody be infinitive let somebody go let somebody do let somebody walk let somebody talk let somebody eat apologize for going apologize for not going apologize for doing apologize for not doing can't help falling can't help eating can't help going can't help drinking just cannot help it it's an addiction almost an addiction too adjective too infinitive too hot to go too hot to play too sour to drink too old to eat afford to infinite afford to buy afford to go afford to stay afford to have 
So I hope you understood this video and some something went and uh, watch and uh, make correct sentences, form correct sentences. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.